Hi, this is Di the Bass Playing Mom, and I'm with Tino. We are at the Yamaha Ampeg booth, and he is gonna show us what's new with Ampeg for 2023. So welcome. It's this a is the TRBX. It's a great nice. five string bass, active electronics. You can switch between active, passive, three band EQ. You can blend you know, from front pickup to back pickup, and then a master volume. It's just a really, Great. I gotta tell you, Yamaha bases, since Ampeg has been associated with Yamaha bases, that I've been playing a fantastic. And, and, you know, you can, you know, anywhere from a couple hundred dollars all the way up to a couple of thousand dollars. For but we're here to talk but about- But we're here to talk about amps. Yeah, we're here to talk about Ampeg. So this is the Heritage 15th Anniversary SVT. We launched this probably about two or three years ago. It was right after Yamaha had acquired it. And in tribute to the 50th anniversary of the SVT, we wanted to build this amp. So it's really, it's based off of, based off of two eras of SVTs. It's based off the of the 1969 era, which is the first era of SVTs. And then channel two is based off of mid 70s SVT. In Ampex history, there's fans of the early SVTs, and then there's fans of like the Magnavox era SVTs, and then there's fans of later SVTs as well. So with this, we kind of wanted to give both fans an amplifier that they can both enjoy. And with this particular amp, you can actually blend the two channels. You can switch out of one channel into the next. So like, this is just channel one. Very heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, uh, the head is 85 pounds, the cabinet is an 810 cap. This is roughly 145 pounds. You know, like, like all good things, you gotta put a little effort in. Lots of good memes about exactly. hauling around Ampeg exactly. gear. Now let me show you something that we just launched yes. a couple of weeks ago. So this is the new SGTDI. You know, the whole idea behind this was for bass players that are always on the go, always traveling. They can't bring an 85 pound SVT on the plane with them, but they want that sound. So that's what this does. This is, it's basically a solid state preamp in a DI box. So a bass player can put this in his gig bag or her gig bag and take their Ampex sound with them on the road. Essentially, very, very much like the same preamp layout as what you find on the SVT, where you have bass, mid, treble, and then an ultra low and an ultra high switch. So anybody that's familiar with any one of our SVTs can be able to look at this and be pretty familiar with how it's laid out. The big difference with this is we do have a sweepable mid range, whereas on the SVT, we only give you three frequencies to select. So bass players, you know, that are really trying to dial in their sound, they really enjoy being able to dial in a specific frequency. The other thing with the SGTDI that Ampeg has never done is we incorporated a Section. It's analog meets digital, so the preamp and everything is, an is analog, but the IR loader is all digital. So with the IR loader, you have a user section where you can select between an 810 cap, a 410 cap, and a single 15, and then you have a user section. It's preloaded with, with a 112, 212, and 210, but you can upload your own impulse responses to it. Nice. We have a, a IR Loader software that you can download right off the Ampeg website and upload your IRs that way. And then last, well actually not last, there's a couple other things. You also have an SGT section, which emulates like an overdriven SVT or B15. And you can switch between the two that way. Also, dial in how much volume or how much grit you want from those two voices. And then, last but not least, at the very least, if you can use it as a practice tool, you can plug your source material, like 
songs you want to learn or play along with into into the, um, into the oh, input here, yeah. and then come headphone out like this gentleman's doing and monitor what you're playing. If you're in a dorm or your bedroom and you don't want to upset your parents or a tour bus, oh, it's a yeah. great silent practice part. Hotel room on the go. Hotel yeah. Room. Next thing that we have on display this year is Rock and Pace has been out for probably about a year or two now. We wanted to offer a small lightweight combo amp for bass players and that's kind of where Rocket Bass comes in. It's based off of our original series of Rocket Bass amps that we did a number of years ago. It's a series of five combo amps. Uh, right here we have the Rocket Bass 115 which is a 15 watt, 200 watt, con uh, 15 inch speaker with a 200 watt power section. And then we have the RB110, which is a single 10 inch speaker with 50 watt power section. And then what's not shown here is we have a 210, which is a 500 watt combo. We have a 112, that's a 100 watt combo. And then we have a little 108, that's a great little practice amp, that's a uh, 20 watt combo or 30 watt combo. For all information regarding Ampeg, just go to ampeg.com and everything's right there on the website. Be sure to check out your local music retailer. Yes, that too, thank you. Your local music retailer, absolutely. Support your local business. Yep, let them order it for you if they have to. And that is what is new at Ampeg, coming from Yamaha Group at NAMM 2023. If you want to see more information about Ampeg, I have some footage of their booth in 2020 out. And down here is a video that YouTube picked out just for you.